For the second time in just over three years, major structural defects have caused an emergency evacuation of this building. We're pretty pissed off, not gonna lie. We, we deserve better. Late Monday, the city of Langford pulled the occupancy permit, leaving the dozens of people who live here in sudden limbo. It's kind of distorting. We were just trying to live, trying to get kids to school, trying to get our jobs done. The same thing happened in 2019. The building was new at the time, but nearly 20 problems with its design, including seismic and foundational issues, forced all tenants out just days before Christmas. The engineer who designed it was fined and banned from the industry. The 90-unit building was then fixed, renamed, and again approved for occupancy last year. But this past weekend, the oversight body for engineers in B.C. told the city there are significant safety issues with the remediation work being done. Through that initial inspection, there remains what they consider potential ongoing life risk situation. Centurion Property Associates owns the building and put out this statement saying, quote, at this time, it's still too early to provide a firm update on when work will be completed. We're still collecting information from the engineers for review and there are no firm timelines available. The company goes on to say it will listen to residents and do everything it can to support them in finding other accommodations. Well, they gave us a, li a, a list of hotels okay. um, uh, that apparently they'll pay for. But some renters say they don't feel supported. It's overwhelming. I have to change everything. Like, I have to get my dog out of there. I'm finishing my semester right now, so I don't know if I can have access to my computer right now. Centurion says rental contracts have been ended and it's offering each leaseholder $1,000. For many, that's not the point. How does this sort of thing happen twice? Where was the city? Where were, where were the inspectors? How come everybody missed this twice? Questions they worry they may never get the answers to. Tanya Fletcher, CBC News, Vancouver.